Hey, what's up guys? This is Johan and on this video we'll be doing a tour of Nemo's Aquarium. I'm on my way there right now so let's go ahead and get ready and start driving. guys so we just made it to Nemo's aquarium you can see we're just right here behind me uh, let's go ahead and take a look inside come on with me and as soon as you walk in you are greeted to this beautiful um, 300 gallon tank on uh, on your right hand side and this tank is just so beautiful I mean you can see all the corals all the polyp extensions everything is open you can see this uh, large plate coral here some of these acans this large leather back here and all these awesome awesome looking corals and they got some nice fish in here. You can see this little clown fish. I'm not sure what exact type it is. Then you have a melanas ras. And then you have a few different nice things. So yeah, so there's a few different nice things about this tank. I want to see if I could uh, track down Aaron. Uh, that's the owner of the tank, of the um, store. Yeah, so there's a lot of awesome things about this aquarium. Uh, this is a nice big rift tank. Check out all these corals. There's scolies. This is a large core right here. And oh, I just see it. So, Aaron, so let me see if I could get him so we could see how this tank is set up. Hey, Aaron, man, how you doing, man? Good, good. Nice to see you. Yeah, I was just telling the guys here about this uh, 300 gallon system. And I was just wondering how you set this system up. I mean, I saw the, I see you have, I think you have radions on this, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yes, the, uh, the tanks are set up with six radions, the okay. Uh, okay. generation four. four. Okay. Uh, it's not a pro, just a regular one, but we have six on this tank. It's a 300 gallon rip tank. Okay. Yep, and uh, the tank been up for three or four years already. It's been okay. up for a while. Um, a lot of uh, adding to and take out and stuff like that. So we do sell stuff out from our display tank um, as well as, you know, our system, system. Uh, big system over there. All right. So let's check out your sump system. Um, so what do you have running? Do you have protein skimmer running on this? Uh, this tank here, we get it very simple. Okay. We try to make it as basic as we can. Uh, we don't have any dosers. We don't run any skimmer right now. Okay. Uh, mainly, we just have a very homemade setup at, in this tank here. Um, and we can see that we have uh, 80 gallons uh, tank um, at the sump. Mm -hmm. We got the two filter stocks on this side to collect all the uh, waste and stuff. Okay. Two UV light. I love. The UV light, I don't like skimmer as much, but I'd rather do more UV light. Mm -hmm. So I do a lot of UV light in the setup. Uh, we do have the uh, cross pan reactors. Okay. To help out with some of the algae in this tank. Okay. But as you can see, the setup is very simple. Not so much dosing and we don't, do, we don't dose much at all. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna um, set off a lot of people. Um, because for me, um, I, I didn't know this is how you ran your system and it basically surprised me and blew me out of the water um, that all you have is just some filter socks for mechanical filtration, um, you got UVs and then I think you have one little filter over there and your mm -hmm. force bank relaxer like you said yep. and um, this is a simple setup for a tank that looks that gorgeous. gorgeous. Um, and it's super simple, um, I know a lot of people are, are wondering how did you do it, are you dosing anything or um, and I mentioned earlier that we don't dose anything. Um, we just top off with water. Uh, we do use Red Sea Pro salt uh, in this setup here as our top off and uh, water change. 
We probably do a water change uh, once every two or three months okay. um, because of the evaporation. So we do a lot of top off, so we don't have to do too much water change. Okay. I believe in the staple of the water better instead of keep changing out the water so much. That's why we don't do too much water change um, in the setup. Okay. Nice, nice. And a lot of people are, do believe in that. Um, the more stable the system, the better. Uh, it's just, this completely surprised me and I bet a lot of guys that's gonna watch this video are gonna be surprised, but you can see the results. And this tank has been set up for how long, you said? Uh, almost four years or now. Almost four years. And it's been run the same from the same, beginning. Yep. Yep, so stability is the key, I guess, here. Mm -hmm. You know, by the uh, piece of Duncan there, we have that one, you know, when was it half that size, maybe about 10 head, and now it's over 50 or 60 head on that Duncan piece there. Uh, so that was probably the oldest piece that we have in the setup. Um, this uh, green toaster leather there, uh, that one, same thing about almost two years now. We mm -hmm. start them out about the size of a tennis ball. They've been growing our blasto, as you can see, they're growing very nice and big too. Mm -hmm. uh, those start out about this, you know, about four head or so. Now it's again, uh, softball side, easily 30 head on that one. Um, yeah. So we have a few items in here that have been with us for a while. We try to keep some of uh, the big show piece so that way the tank doesn't yeah. look too empty. Mm -hmm. um, but everything sells, you know. We do sell out from the, from the tank. Um, new thing all we've been adding to it and taking out. Okay. But everything is doing really well. Yeah, everything looks beautiful, like I said. And um, I love this centerpiece here with the A can that goes over to the Guanyapur Garden. Mm -hmm. And these are some of my favorite corals, and I'm looking to hopefully invest in some of them um, later on. But like I said, this tank is beautiful. And for the sump system, as you guys can clearly see, um, you don't need that much, you just need good lighting and right. stable water parameters. And um, that's pretty much it. And you say you sell stuff out of this tank, so I guess you put your hands in the tank every now and then, yep. just get some stuff. But besides that, he keeps everything stable, just his all the top off, lighting, and stable conditions. Mm -hmm. That is right. All right, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taking a tour of your tent or your store. Let everybody else see um, how, all the corals that you have and all the awesome fish that you have, and then we will go from there. All righty. All right.
Mimosa Aquarium is one of those awesome little fish stores that once you walk in, you get hooked and you just gotta keep coming back and back again and um, spending and buying more fish and more coral. They have just about everything you could think of um, from coral to um, saltwater fish and they even have a freshwater system. So when you walk into the store, um, you're greened by this large 300 gallon system. And then once you walk in, you see all the fish that's on display and they're in, in their holding tanks. And then on the store is actually divided in two little sections, or three different sections, I should say. On the left, you have all the saltwater fish that's in their um, holding tanks. In the center aisle, you have all the corals. And then on the far right, you have all the freshwater fish. They have this awesome little rock colony. They call them combo rocks. I haven't really seen them anywhere else. It's basically a rock or live rock with a bunch of different frags of any different type of coral. So in this clip, you have some zoanthids, some uh, mushroom corals. I've seen them with different ones with different soft corals and a few hard corals on there. So that way you have a nice little started colony with a few different corals that you could put in your system. And if you have a nano system, that basically would take care of most of the corals that you would put in a nano system. One of the things that I love about Nemo's Aquarium is the amount of variety that they have in this store. Um, you could find just about any type of fresh freshwater fish or any type of saltwater fish. And if you guys know that I'm a big saltwater fish guy, um, I love just about every type of saltwater fish, especially angels. And they have just about every type of angel in this store. And if they don't have it, on the day that I come, I can guarantee you I come the next week and it's in the store. Um, so they do special orders sometimes or just the vast amount of fish that they um, get. They do um, get a, a large variety of fish. And whilst I was there filming, I wasn't planning on buying any fish and I, luckily I did not. But there were two beautiful emperor angels um, that I have my eye on and um, they're at the right price. And that's another awesome thing about Nemo's Aquarium. The prices is something you can't beat. Um, I, I can guarantee you no matter where you go, um, their prices are some of the best. And the fish and coral that you get are as awesome. They look awesome in the tanks and you can take them home and you, again, guarantee you won't have any problems at all. You don't have to worry about any pests or anything like that, but I personally um, want to quarantine everything that I get. Um, it doesn't matter if what store I get it from, but if you're somebody who doesn't quarantine, um, Aaron and the guys at Nemo's Aquarium, they do that step for you before they even put this, the fish out on display. So if there's a fish that you want, they get in and they do quarantine it for you. And if needed, they will treat it with whatever medication. So if you're a person who doesn't quarantine and um, likes taking your fish straight home and putting it in your tank, you can guarantee you'd be safe doing that. So I'm not big on the freshwater fish, but just the amount of beauty that I see in freshwater fish because there aren't that much freshwater fish in my area, freshwater fish stores in my area at least, besides the big box like Petco and um, um, PetSmart. But this store, once you walk in, they have all the beautiful like discus fish, um, beautiful parrot fish, and I think the par freshwater parrot fish are one of the most cutest fish in the world. Um, and like I said, the discus, they look so beautiful. You can see each and every coral color in them. That I'm, I'm thinking of setting up a discus tank once I get myself settled. And even their goldfish. Um, in the large goldfish um, display that they have, the scales on each of those fish are so beautiful and they reflect the light just right. So I didn't know that goldfish looked that beautiful because the only place I've seen goldfish, like I men mentioned, is the big stores. And uh, when you see fish like this in a aquarium, um, in a store, then it kind of makes you want to buy, buy more and more. And it's the same thing with the saltwater fish. 
every fish that you come into the store and you see they're always happy and look like they're well fed well taken care of so that you know that once you buy a fish you get them into your system and the 90 percent of the time they're they acclimate awesomely to your system now, obviously you're gonna um, run into one or two fish that's really aggressive or is extremely sensitive and even when dealing with sensitive fish the guys at Nemo's Aquarium will give you the right advice and even if it's a fish that's uh, let's say hard to keep for example an Achilles tang they may even not sell it to you just on the on the pretense that you may not know how to take care of that fish so um, they will sell to you if you know what you're doing but they will always advise you not to if it's a sensitive fish like an Achilles tank. Right down the center of the store is where he has all his corals and he has a wide range of corals in the store um, from all these acans to all the euphilia and different soft corals he even has a few clams in here I think there's a large maxima clam um, that I saw and a few Dorosa clams as well. area or in the stone mountain area I do suggest that you guys check out Nemo's aquarium I'll leave a link to their address in the description down below uh, they have two stores one in Alpharetta and then one in um, Stone Mountain Georgia the one in Stone Mountain is closer to me so I go there a lot more often Alright guys, so this is Aaron's store and this is Aaron the man. So if you guys ever in, are in Stone Mountain, Georgia, uh, in Atlanta, Atlanta area, I do say you guys should check out this aquarium. And if you have any, if you have any um, sign up for the guys? Nope, that's it. Well, it's great to have you here and hope we see a new customer coming in. Yes, see you guys. Alright, All right, sign up. <laughs> yeah.